I've been looking for a alternative to <laughs> this foam thing in the back here, which is <laughs> terrible. You have to turn yourself all the way around and then you can get yourself at the phone. And then it, mine has a cover on it. So when you stick it in there, it's very difficult to get out and you're gonna be pulling and yanking and everything. And I figured there's gotta be some way to put the phone, you know where I want the phone? I want the phone up here. I want it up here somewhere, up here, hang it from here, put it over here, I don't know, somewhere. So I looked around and looked around and looked around and I finally came upon an outfit that makes a very, very, very nice phone holder. And uh, so I got one and it's here with me right now. In fact, a piece of it is already up here. There's only two pieces. This is the second, pe the first piece you put up and I'm gonna take, go around to the other side and show it to you. So this is a single piece that goes around here if I can show you and it's sort of wedges right in the back there over on the left hand side well, my left hand side and then it comes up at a slight angle coming up this way and then it comes right out here and it mounts onto your screen right on the corner right there and it, you have to put a little pressure on it to put it on they tell you not to put the uh, cell phone holder on here yet because you're gonna have to bend this a little bit what you do is you kind of wedge it in there and then just bend it and push out a little bit like this, and it goes right onto the side of your screen here. And so far, so good. I mean, it looks really good. I got one more piece to do. I got to put the the cell phone holder on there. You can see the four screws that it's going to go into, and um, we should be a done deal. So this is my solution. I think I got a good one. And uh, let me let me tell you about the company. They make all kinds of uh, devices and holders and everything else. And they will, they have, when, when you order one of these, you have to tell them what kind of a phone you have so they know to give you the right uh, clip to hold your phone. So it's all custom made for your phone. So make sure you do that if you call in and order one of these. I think it's really, I'm very impressed. I've looked at a bunch of them. And this one to me is one of the best ones, if not the best one on the market today. Pro Clip. USA.com is their web address. Here is the cell phone holder. And you, and you can see it has the four screws on the back, which they give you, of course. And uh, then this pops on. And uh, I'll show you how that works in a minute. So uh, these two screws here are the ones that, if you loosen these, don't take them out, but if you loosen them, It'll spread these two holders, the one on either side that grab your phone. They will spread these holders and you get your phone just the way you want it, then tighten the screws back up. And then the last thing you're gonna do is take this screw out of the center. You can't see it, but there's a screw down there in the center. And um, then you can mount this piece on here and then pop this back on and screw it back on. And you'll be done. So very impressive. I'll put a link down below to the name of the company. Let's uh, finish off the install and we'll show you what it looks like with the cell phone. So we've loosened the center clip or the center screw here and then we're going to separate these two puppies and screw uh, the bottom piece here onto the uh, cell phone holder. So I unscrewed that center screw there that you can't see <laughs> and uh, it comes off of this guy here and I see the screw hanging down right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this back up and screw it back in so that should work just fine okay so we got the four screws in uh, a little note of caution on the four screws uh, make sure you get the right size um, it's it's smaller than the bigger screwdrivers and uh, it's bigger than some of the small screws. It's kind of it's kind of an oddball um, uh, size for the screw head, but you can do it. Just be, just don't uh, strip the screws and you know put too much pressure on them because you will strip the screws. So final part. Now we're just going to put the other 
pop up the holder. I'm gonna put the holder on here. And there's a screw right there, and we're gonna put that baby right in there. So we'll do that right now. So, final assessment. Um, I would say that the job for putting in this system is really easy and uh, that it works really good. Uh, the assembly and everything else was very simple. It's not difficult to do. Um, and I would recommend this to anybody who's got a, uh, a Corvette and they want to use the cell phone. Also, uh, underneath, if you go underneath the uh, glove box, there is a 12 volt tap down there that you can plug into like a cigarette lighter that has a USB connected to it, and you could run power if you wanted to keep your... Mine doesn't charge, my cell phone doesn't charge when it's in here unless I put a little add-on thing, feature that goes on the back of the cell phone, but, um, so, but if I had, to charge this up, I could either run a charging wire down through here and in, into the uh, glove box, or I could do it uh, down towards the uh, 12 volt that's uh, underneath the the uh, glove box, and uh, then I could do it that way. But so there's a couple of options that if you need to charge, you if you're going on a long trip or something, you need to keep your phone charged. There's a couple of op a couple of options that you have to do that. Oh, and look at this. This is a brand new swivel. Is it swivel? Does it swivel? Let me see. Oh, yeah, and it swivels too. Look at that. Uh, wow. What's the old guy doing here? I've got 50 feet of new, uh, of new hose line for my power washer. I've got a new handle here. It's, uh, it's a little hint of an upcoming video that is scheduled in another week and uh, has something to do with uh, washing the cars too. And uh, foaming, the word foam is very important. Maybe you can guess what's going on. Three openings right here. When you wash the car, lots of water goes into the engine compartment and also there's a little uh, area here for the heat to get out. And this uh, gets a lot of water into it that way when you're washing the car. And the same thing, what you see on the left side, you see on the right side also. And you have that same problem over here. So, part of the new wash and uh, power washing stuff, we're also gonna show you a way to keep water out of your engine compartment. This is really, really clever. I think you're going to like this. If you haven't seen it before, it's, it's really cool.